Joining us now is Evan Claudianus, a Notre Dame alumnus with graduate degrees in philosophy and applied statistics. And while pursuing his studies, he founded a startup, Amaforge. So welcome to Notre Dame Day. We appreciate it. I hope I didn't butcher your name too badly. That was perfect. <laughs> okay. And thanks so much for having me. It's great to be part of the event. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. Explain your academic specialties for those with no knowledge of philosophy or statistics. Sure, so it's funny because when I tell people about my academic background, the response is often a little bit confused. Like, mm -hmm. aren't these things kind of at the opposite end of some kind of spectrum here? Um, but for me, they're really not. Um, so uh, a lot of philosophers study questions about how we come, uh, come to understand the world, how we come to uh, know things, how we come to find out what's true and what's false. And statistics really at, at its core is a set of methods around figuring out what we should say is true or not, right? If you think about um, statistical certainty, right? The idea of statistical certainty, it's everywhere. It's in science, it's in business, it's in academia. Um, but for me, more specifically, my areas in statistics uh, were sort of mostly in line with um, things happening in the big data sphere, AI, machine learning, um, those kinds of areas. And in philosophy, I was, I'm really interested in um, how those methods, how AI, how big data, how uh, cloud computing are really affecting how knowledge is gathered in the sciences. So that's really the connection for me. Interesting. Now your startup company, Amaforge, arose out of your experience, I understand, as a graduate student here. Uh, tell us a little about that company. Sure, sure. So, uh, so it arose out of, of my experiences here in the sense that I realized very quickly as a graduate student here that universities like Notre Dame have a big information problem. They often don't have a good sense of what's going on around campus, about the different skills and expertise of faculty around campus. And uh, so I wanted to build a platform that would solve that problem for them, and Amaforge came out of that. Um, we build software to help universities do a better job of connecting faculty with funding. Okay, and we understand that that connection started with the Idea Center that you were founding, Amaforge. How did the Idea Center help you launch? So it was, it was huge. Um, I, I got involved in, uh, with the Idea Center very early on, and, um, and they provided me with some of my initial funding and a lot of advice. So for somebody who doesn't have a business background like myself, um, to be able to go to them, to better understand how to negotiate contracts, um, how to hire people, this sort of thing, uh, they've been central to that and, and been a huge part of what I've done. Okay, what do you think the next couple of years hold for your company? Yeah, so we're really excited in the next couple of years, we want to be in every major university in the US and we have um, some ideas for how to push our technology into other areas, um, into other markets like manufacturing and we're really excited to, to explore this. Well, thank you for being here, Evan. Best of luck with all your endeavors. Thanks for the opportunity.